Got a lot going on. Too much going on that I don't even want to explain. I don't want to explain what episode this is. Too much going on. I'm watching the Raiders just detonate the Denver Broncos in their in their own city just like how Sean Strickland did in Australia Stylebender's backyard just humiliated him in front of his whole family you know I remember watching I think it was uh, Pedro Munoz or Ty Tuavasa somebody was going out and I seen his Izzy's family like wow he really brought his whole family out for him to just lose um I'm on a fast. The last it is currently 1:33 p.m. and the last time I ate was yesterday at 10 p.m. So, do the math. What do you want to see? The microphone? Olives belong on piece of period. They do. Olives do belong on the pizza. Um, and they do not the green olives though. I don't think green olives would go good on a pizza. What wouldn't go good on a pizza? I'm not really much of a chicken guy. It's if you're putting chicken on your sandwich at this point, just get a sand. Or I mean, <laughs> if you're putting chicken on your pizza at this point, just get a sandwich. That's what I meant to say. Oh man, the Raiders are about to score a touchdown. I am a full-fledged Raiders fan. I have I've been a Raiders fan since I was probably 17, 18 is when it really started getting serious. Um I had to spend the first 16 years of my life developing the the Raiders personality and it just fit. We just kicked it off. I didn't know how the game of football worked until after high school. Um and they're about to score a touchdown, man. The Raiders, we've been here from the beginning. The Raiders have sucked while I was still getting they, they, and they confused or whatever. I'm still getting it confused if you fucking go by they. I seen this meme. It was like, uh, oh, I go as they, them. Okay, here's two tickets. It was like a cop who pulled over a lady. How many hours have I been fasting? I'm trying to think. <clears throat> so, like 16, like coming up on 16 hours, 16 hour fast. And I'm going to break it at 3-ish, but realistically like 3.30, so in like two hours from now. Uh, so I'll go on like an 18 hour fast. And I weighed myself. I was about, I was about 134. And I was just thinking, man, I used to like, and I think at the same height just years ago, like I could get to 125, no problem. But I'm thinking, man, if I got to get from 125 right now, right now, man, that's going to be difficult. I'm, I'm going to need some time. I'm going to need some time. But if I lived like this every day, if I just like, you know, fasted 18 hours and had small meals and was strict about it, like how I am fucking doing right now, boy, I'm on that hunger shit. This is like if you were to cut to 135, but I'm just, I'm walking around at this, you know, I'm all right. I'm ready to go. I'll run a mile. Touchdown Raiders. That's what I'm fucking talking about. He's taunting after the, oh they didn't he didn't make it he dropped it well, let's see let's see him taunting he caught it got oh unsportsmanlike conduct that's fucking bullshit. They're always trying to bring us down, man. That's fucking bullshit. 
What are you talking about? Unsportsmanlike content. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, this sport. That's foul. Man, I'm foul. They about to. They got the touchdown though. Here comes Janikowski doing his fucking thing. Oh. They made it. Sheesh. Touchdown Raiders. Fuck the Broncos. The Broncos are literally the weakest fucking team. Orange? How are you going to have orange as your fucking... Nobody who's ever in first place wears orange. Think of the Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo. The weakest link. Funny guy Michelangelo is, but... You know? Not ready for war. Not ready for war. <laughs> oh, man. I got the volume down to 50%, so I'm hoping that's all right. <clears throat> it seems to be all right here on the monitors. I would never be I would never be a Dolphins fan. As much as I want to visit Florida, them Dolphins what the f I forget that that's even a team sometimes the fucking dolphins the Miami Dolphins that's just that's such a are there even dolphins in Florida bro weird the Vikings I kind of get it's just it's just a bunch of white people that are they're not like you know they're just American but maybe they think oh well back on 300 years ago, my people were, were savages, we're Vikings, we're the best, but we're humble about it because we're the best. I don't know. So yeah, my mind isn't, oh man, so... I smoked a Swisher, and on the Swisher, the package just says, ah, increases your risk for heart and lung cancer. And all I'm thinking about is, man, sometimes doing things that you know is bad for you is kind of an act of suicide. But there's, like, you know, a reward for it. I guess with suicide, there's, like, not, but you're, just like, slowly killing yourself, you know? You know you might be prolonging your life. And you're all right with it for the little juice, the little chemistry that happens when you do what you want to do. Like, man, I have I have a nice ass loaf of bread and I'm just like, this is I got to eat it. You know, my body. It's like it's right there. Let's get the most out of it. But I'm like trying to be disciplined. Maybe, you know, every now and then fasting is good for you. It's good for your system to go through. Because what if when war d drops, you know, and you start getting hungry, you're not just going to be able to fucking have a cliff bar every two hours, you know? Hear my beard? <sighs> Put the microphone in my beard. This is what I've become, just a guy who just chills out, watches football. There's nothing wrong with it, but in a way, when I was younger, I didn't want it. I was like, I want to do something. I want to be something. Nah, you know what? It's kind of cool to just tune out and watch people do the fucking work.
Oh. Oh shit. Okay, I guess I'll go over the three thoughts I've had. I might have to pause this or edit out the dead silence because I am fucking whew, zoned out. I don't have enough brain power right now to just like be talking and feeling good, you know. I'm not really in podcast mood right now. I'm just kind of in zen mood. Zen, zen mode. Sean Strickland beating the Adesanya man is just some crazy shit. Yeah, man. Izzy did not have an off night. He just fucking ran into Sean Styles make fights, dude. You guys don't fucking understand this shit. Sean Strickland knew what the fuck he was doing, man. He fucking was jamming him up. He never let off the gas for Izzy to fucking... He was he always had him backstepping. And Izzy was just too focused on backstepping and having defense. Yeah, Izzy was trying to set up traps and stuff, have that one big hit. But when it came to volume and being a fucking savage, Strickland had him. He knew it from the jump. Strickland was just... He was just all in. And he still, and he, you guys still don't know that he's a jujitsu black belt. He's fucking good on the fucking ground, dude. That's just one level to this, dude. Just a boxing, but he ain't even, he ain't even apply that jujitsu. And yeah, is he's this, yeah, is he's that, but you know, he's all flash when it comes to the hard and grit. Strickland has it, and it's not to say you know. Izzy ain't have it bad or nothing or whatever or just he ain't got that dog in him too. But it, this is a different this is a different thing. This is a, this is America, you know what I'm saying? And we need we need a champ like Sean Strickland in this world, dude. We need we need a change, and I think this is gonna be good for the world, for MMA. Sean Strickland's gonna go become one of the greatest of all time, really. No, I don't know, probably not. He's probably gonna get knocked out. But that's the thing. I'm just, I'm just joking. That's when I start talking about it like that. That's when I'm joking. But I still like when you know he doesn't care. This is sometimes not giving a fuck to a certain degree about certain things, about goals or trophies or whatever. Just loving what you do. That's what gets you to fucking gold sometimes. Not about being gold. Not about making it your fucking identity or. You know, just wear it. Don't get me wrong. Izzy's good. I respect it. Just like what Strickland says, dude. But it's just a different thing, man. It's just a different fucking thing. It's simple. And it's life, bro. That's it. That's all it is. Talk about suicide, you know. Just, just being out there ready to fucking... Ready to fucking die, bro. Ready to fucking throw, just die. And just keep doing it, you know? You just keep dying. You smoke that Swisher blunt, you just, you just keep fucking dying. Oh man, yeah, this is gonna be a bitch to edit. I don't want to like take out these these long pauses of nothing, but we'll keep it all natural. Who gives a shit? I don't know. We're doing fourteen minutes. What are you doing? Are you driving? Are you trying to go to sleep? I feel like this episode's a good episode to fall asleep to.
One more hour, baby. Another hour. Do I have my sunglasses in here? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm getting tired, dude. I don't want to talk. Okay, I'll record and say this. I'm reading the comments somewhere on something. People are all like, "You gotta focus." Izzy didn't have an off night. Sean, fucking, it's just better than people are like. Izzy is gonna say all this and do that, and he's gonna be better. The point, you guys didn't learn. The point is, who gives a shit? That's the point, you fucking dorks, dude. You're out here just hyper analyzing and being just who gives a fuck, bro. We're here to fucking watch these fights and these motherfuckers fight. It's gambling at a point. That's the fucking thing. If you haven't learned by now how unpredictable this shit is and you think you know, most people don't. Who says it? See, I don't know. I'll admit, I don't know nothing. But there, there, somebody has this quote most people don't know shit about boxing. Well, most people don't know shit about the UFC either. This shit is new. They're 30 years of age, bro. This sport is 30 years of age. At least this company. You know what I mean? And from what we've seen, yeah, there's a, of course there's always business involved. There's fucking, you know, that's what I'm saying, man. You never know. There could be somebody in fucking jail right now. Who could be a three weight division fucking monster. You, you, you play into it too much. Because there's some people who are just born and raised into this. It's fucking uh, industry plant shit. You know what I'm saying? Some people just never get they shot. And, th- and this is the example. Of somebody who just never got they shot. But they just, you know, they just kept grinding till they got the gold. But it's not about that. It's about the fucking grind, bruh. And that's why the Raiders are going to fucking shit on the Broncos today. Because everybody laughs at the Raiders. Oh, they always lose. But you know what happens after they lose? They still get in there and fucking play. The stock on them are, is through the fucking roof ever since they moved to Vegas. So keep doubting, bro. Because it doesn't matter. Doubt. You doubt somebody, you back somebody, it doesn't matter. You just, you just fucking, you know, you don't, you don't do it for the people in a way it's for a job. But when you're doing it for yourself, you just, you just fucking go out there. Don't you just want to fucking kill somebody? You know, don't you just, you got that urge. You just want to fucking shank somebody one good time. That's what that's about. That's the moral of the story. You guys are, oh no, he just said a fucking, who give, live your fucking life. Who gives a shit? Huh? You think I'm crazy? Why do you think I'm crazy? For what? I don't want to shank somebody. It's just that energy. Well, sometimes I do. Sometimes there's like, but I don't act on it. You know what I mean? But you get that feeling, but it's still your job to repress it. It's called fucking discipline. Just like how I wanted to eat that loaf of bread over there. But I'm on a fast. We have one hour. So this is what happens, dude. Yeah. I, when you're like 18 hours in of not eating, yeah, maybe. Don't you just want to shank somebody? That's how war is, dude. That's how it's just, that's, that's how this shit. Ha- I'm looking at this globe and I'm just looking at what makes a country and the people who want power. But then they 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 coincide with other people, and I just think about American culture, 
and how we're becoming soft. We're letting we're letting the other guy win. We're letting China fucking pacify us with the TikToks and this and that while these Asian countries and all these other people are you know, they're grinding. They're fucking grind. So it's just we need to get back on our fucking grind. And I I truly believe I don't think we're going to get on our grind. I don't think we're going to get on our grind. I think the damage that has been done the past and and I'm not saying that I'm I'm grinding either. I'm part of the problem. I have a fucking podcast, <laughs> you know. And um I just think we're not focused on the bigger picture. And um we're we're focused a little bit too much on trying to be the best, extraordinary, whatever. Anyways, I'll just end that subject on if if ever if if everybody um if everybody in the world was special the world wouldn't be fun because it's like and every but don't get me wrong everybody is special but i mean like special is like everybody's like a fucking star everybody's got like everybody's britney spears or some fucking dumb shit then there would be nobody to fucking, you know, make the world fun for them. I always say, like, what's the point of having, like, hella money if there's nobody at the bank to give it to you, you know? So it's just sometimes, I don't know. Life isn't about that. I was talking to my cousin, and she was talking about our money-hungry Mr. Krabs ass aunt or her mom. And, um... I guess her whole life she's just always been concerned about money and making it or and being like just more money, more money, save this, save that. This is a good business move this. This is a good business move that. And it's like, yeah, I remember that from even being like 8 years old. So as a child, I that's something that's stuck with me and I always just think like you got to look at that meme where it's like a skeleton who's wearing the headband and the headband attached to it has like a, a stick of money. And he's just, it's the skeletons chasing the money. And then it eventually falls into like the grave, uh, the hole, and then the dirt falls over it and, and, and you die. And it's just like, it's just a waste of time. And time is money. So it, it's a waste of time to invest into money sometimes too. It's like, <sighs> Okay, I could look at my life and be like, okay, I should, I should have done this. I should have like, who gives a fuck? Just like this fight, it's all a gamble. At the end of the day, you're never so sure, and you should just be happy with anything that you got in the first fucking place. Because when I look at this globe, I think of how many of these places are fucking deserts. How many of these people have only had three pairs of shoes in their life, and they're 27 years old? You know, and they're like a fucking grandparent. They work. And that's a big majority of the world. I think it's if you make more than twenty thousand dollars, you're like, you're like three percent of the planet. That's why everybody says like the one percent. The one percent is. Or, I don't know. I feel like everybody's just on this quest to be the one percent. And if a hundred percent was the one percent, you get what I'm saying? If the if the one hundred percent was the one percent. Um, nothing would get done unless people were super dis. but I don't have faith in people. I'm sorry, but I don't have faith in people just as a society. If time, and I'm young, you know, time proves over and over again with like war and stuff and this <laughs> war and stuff. I sound like such a fucking hippie. Um, I think it's just bigger than something that I could probably wrap my head around. Which is why I would never want to get involved with politics. But it's like somebody's got to do it, you know. So the person who's a fucking maniac is the one who does it and gets into politics. And that's how you get these these nutty ass fucking world. These nutty world. <laughs> what 
does that mean? All right, that's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna pause it again. All right, it's been three days, and I'm back with an update. I think we did 20 minutes, and then I just thought I'd come back. And oh, can you hear that? That's sirens in the back. Is that sirens? I don't know if you guys can hear us. Yeah, it's not picking up on the feed, but sirens. Somebody, another one bites of dust. My dad used to say that when we saw paramedics drive by or something. I, I'd be a kid and I'd be like, ah, look, ambulance. And my dad would say, another one bites of dust. And as a kid, I think I got it. Like, oh, another one dies. I made the connection. I'm not a fucking idiot. Uh, I have allergies out of nowhere. I just fucking killed it. And uh, I, I made the stupid decision to hop back on the podcast and fucking finish this. <sighs> and I'm going to be fucking sniffling. And hawking loogies throughout this whole fucking thing. (sighs) Ah, How do I get rid of this? I'm going to take like a hauls or something. I don't know. Um, I think I had a game plan with how I wanted to finish this podcast. Fucking Sean Strickland fucking dunked on Stylebender. Like I said, I got the text messages to prove it. I've been predicting that shit from the jump. From the moment that fight fucking dropped, bruh. And then the fucking Raiders fucking touchdown on the fucking 40, or the Broncos. We already did the 49ers back in Vegas, bro. But we, we fucking, we'll fuck anybody up, man. And I was celebrating on the Instagram at Marconi Puma and it just got a bunch of people riled up and stuff. And it's just hilarious to me because I don't, the real me, I don't really give a shit about football. I just, you know, I'm just picking a side here. And, um, <sighs> God, something about when I get on, you know what this podcast feels like, dude? It feels like when I go to fucking church and I just lose my fucking powers, dude. That's how I feel right now. I just sat down, hit record, and just out of nowhere, I feel more sick. It's fucking bullshit. Let me finish this. Maybe I need a woosah. Everybody, let's take a second, mainly for me. (sighs) All right. And the only thing that's really changed the past three days since um, I was recording is that I have Evanescence stuck in my head, bring me to life, just, and I have the urge, uh, I think I'm going to do it this weekend, when I do comedy, I'm going to open my set, I'm just going to slowly get grab the mic and just start with, how can you see into my eyes like open doors, <laughs> And then just work it from there. How can you see into my eyes like open doors? So I used to worship the devil. And, uh, yeah, dude. Fucking. I wrote a new joke today. That's, I think I wrote a new joke. And I think one of the, these jokes was inspired by this podcast. I've been inspired by a lot of the comedians. I know the comedians don't probably don't listen to my podcast because they're fucking self-absorbed and only listen to themselves. But. <sighs> I've been feeling inspired, you know, there's a lot of comedians who I follow on the Instagrams that like, they'll just kind of like riff on their story or whatever, or maybe even podcast. Yeah, even podcast. And then they'll bring it to stage. And I'm like, wow, that was an organic thought that made a whole crowd of civilians crack up. And one of these thoughts is what I had on this episode, I believe. So the joke goes like this. I wrote it on 9-11. Here's my 9-11 joke for you guys. Why put chicken on pizza? At that point, just eat a fucking sandwich. All right, so today, um, this is my new joke today. uh, Lately, a lot of people have been calling me gay. And not gay as in homosexual. Gay as in annoying. And yeah, that's it. That's all I've written. It's about a good... (laughs) It's about a good 15 seconds worth of jokes, but, um, you know, we could probably stretch it out to 15 minutes if we really wanted to. 
and how do I, let's get real. <sighs> Have I been thinking about killing myself? Have I been thinking? No, I haven't. I've been loving life. I've been doing everything I can to enjoy it as much as I can. Um, mentally, I'm okay. I think I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've gotten shape. I think there was like a some time earlier in the past two weeks where I felt kind of kind of eh, but I shuck myself out of it. You know, just kind of. And what I mean by eh, just kind of like oh, I want more, but just been trying to be grateful for what I have, obviously, because I have a lot. Been having fucking car troubles too, and that just seems to be one of the reoccurring uh, subjects and topics here on this podcast is me having fucking car problems, and I'm about to blow five, close to 600 fucking dollars, so I'm gonna be telling a lot of, a lot of homophobic jokes to be paying off this fucking car, man, being an adult and a comedian, it's just, it just seems like the hardest fucking thing, you just gotta go through life as a fucking idiot and hope people are just like, oh, look at this idiot, you know, or have some good thoughts, and like, wow, this fucking idiot came up with something brilliant, you know, <sighs> I'm pissed off in my nose, I'm gonna, let me pause this, I'm gonna fucking blow the shit out of my nose, hold on, all right, I have unpaused it, I'm back, I'm dealing with a serious fucking case of hay fever, but that's all right. I'm here with you guys. We're doing it. I blew my nose, and then I got distracted. I had to do a little bit of the dishes, and because my dad always told me, do the dishes so your mom doesn't bitch. So that was for you, mom. Um, oh man! <laughs> and in the middle of doing the dishes, a woman's job. Guess who fucking? <laughs> guess who decided to fucking? Tap in is how we say it here in the Bay Area. Guess who decided to fucking clock in, bro? And we've been, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've had Peter on the on the podcast. I've been thinking about restarting up Peter's perspective or giving you your own episode. But we're fucking here, baby, we were talking about them fucking Jews. We were talking about that latest uh, Adam Sandler movie. And uh, it was an all right movie until the fucking little girls started queefing in each other's faces. What's up with that, dude? You don't know what the fuck time it is. You know what the fuck we're doing today. It's mm-hmm. a big fucking crusade today. I don't give a shit what time it is. You all know what the fuck they joke about. You know what the hell Kim Kardashian's grandma said about fucking in front of a goddamn fireplace or some crazy shit like that. Y'all watch Seinfeld. Y'all know what fucking the hell we're talking about here. We're talking about big Jew comedy. What the fuck is good? It's only Wednesday night. Get the fuck <laughs> together because we have a long, long, long conversation ahead of us. Almost as long as uh, a, a, lo- a person with a long nose, like a big nose, I guess. Like, what yeah. is what is it with the Jewish people and the long noses? Like, where did that? Where did that? Okay, come so from? here's here's the concept that I that, the way that I understand. Right, once you start getting deep into the the origin story deep into their nose into the lore right in the genesis chapter books right of the jewish people is the khazar mafia and the khazar family right so this is like 480 and like middle east one of these countries right and um like this family is just like mafia just the origin story of humans doing mafia shit and like this this all ties into like the Rothschilds and whatever the hell right nowadays and um like um, uh, 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 fucking uh, cousin mafia, and like these people have um, um, uh, shit. Uh, I'm trying to say that they have like they they ha- all have Jewish noses. They all have this kind of like thing and extremity and whatever. And they were known back then to be doing early day versions of rhinoplasties and what the Kardashians are doing every month and and plastic surgery and whatever the hell. But there's like four thirty six. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no such thing as it. So it's like early models of scalpels and shit like that and doctors and whatever the hell. So they became masters of disguise, so on and so forth. And that's kind of like a part of like, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Hollywood and Hollywood elite, motherfuckers that have been doing this shit and has like a family bloodline of people that have been doing this shit since the 400s. You kidding me? If my family knew how to make shoes since the 1700s as an American, then what the fuck if my family knows how to be a master of disguise since the 400s? You ever seen Dana Carvey's Master of Disguise? Holy shit. 
What do you know? Another one. They're saying it. They're doing it right in front of you. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm talking about? That's where. That's that's that's, that's as far as I can go. That's that's as far as I can go to answer that question. You saying? Next question. You saying Jewish people are masters of disguise? Early day Khazar Mafia people that era. Yes, sure, yeah. You know, sometimes I want to like do an open mic or something, and I haven't done this one yet. I always sign up as my name Marconi, and play my fucking homophobic self. But um, one day I just, you know, I just want to make names up. I just want to make a name up and then show up and maybe dress differently and have nobody recognize me. Kind of like, uh, what's the name? Guy Falcon, I think uh, that that one guy, Nick Swartzen, did that on Kill Tony once. You should have guy just Falcon. different friends around the world and just have them on, on the phone, like on standby, and then get like a block, like a block of like five people and have like five minutes or like five three minute slots or whatever like 15 minutes straight and then just have different people that you can call that all have shit ready and then they can you can just facetime them and just kill from there and then see how interesting it would look if you did not maybe not five maybe like one or two <laughs> yeah and then when i get off people are like you're you're, you're you, set first like you you first. no nah, i'm gonna then. just get up there and hold the fucking phone up to the mic and that's it and then when i get off people will be like your friend's really funny and be like what the fuck are you talking about that was my act what are you talking about? I did it. That was a, I'm a ventriloquist. This iPhone is a fucking, is a puppet. My mouth wasn't moving. You thought that was my friend. That was me. Hold on, 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 hold on. Because that, cause that reminds me of somebody who was on my show recently that I host over on 6th Street, which by the way, I've gotten a show. Who, Aaron Belial? We do that shit now. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. This dude's name is a Jake. Oh, okay. I know Jake. Front toward enemy. No. Uh, he looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. He's comedy. He's great. Okay. He's from over here. And honestly, he does comedy over here. Anyway, he did this thing one time because he hates or He's the ops, technically. You know what I mean? But he said, oh, I was still out here, so I respect his art. But this is his art one time, right? He goes up. This is just a minute. It's a minute, Mike. I do, like, fucking a big-ass bar crawling full of fucking, like, a good 50 or so comics. And maybe let's say 20 or so people are in my picture and bucket and shit. It's just me and my boy, my homegirl, and we run this mic. Anyway, it's one minute, and he goes up there, and this is all Americans in the heart of fucking, fucking, you know what I mean? Austin, Texas, right? Central Texas. And this motherfucker plays the the, the Russian national, Soviet national anthem, the old national anthem, like in the 80s and shit. The most communist fucking over there Russian kind of shit. But just off of his phone, he was being a dick because he doesn't like, you know what I mean? Like, there's like two or three people that like protest and they're just like, they use their minutes to talk shit. Like, we shouldn't be doing this. You guys just need to go to open mics, this and that. You're like, yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. So anyway, yeah, it's called a Board of Baby Summers mic. Fucking come through. We do it on Shakespeare's 6th Street nowadays. Thank you, Marky, having me on your fucking show since then. Things fucking are tight. Things are tighter. Things are getting tight. Things are getting tight, dick, tight. Tight like a queef. Tight like a queef. I don't think. <laughs> Tight like a, like a front fart. Speaking of aborted babies, yeah, I think ANTC might be done. We talked about that earlier, but uh, yeah, it was a, it was a good nine months, and it just it just feels like a miscarriage, you know, on the ninth month. It fucking died. So. Hey man, I got a question for you, man. Let me fucking since we're going back and forth, right? All right, for sure. So, Let me get my notes. Uh, uh, in in Peru, did you hear about this fucking article about Peru and having uh, aliens or some shit like that today? They got aliens in Peru. Do they even have fucking Wi-Fi there? So it's something that got like subpoenaed through like a fucking I don't know some like uh, 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 um, the uh, act of Congress in Mexico, but having to do with Peru. And uh, I just sent you the picture. Yeah, that's I'm what it looks to, like. Look this kind of shit was unveiled, and yeah, that's. Tell me what you think about that. Oh that's shit! It. It, they coming out with a new Men in Black movie? Yeah, it looks like Men in Black. Fucking. Oh. It looks shit. like a bug from Men in Black. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> That's real? I guess so. From from 700 to 800 years ago. And as somebody who, like, seriously has been fascinated and always interested in the culture of Central mostly and also Southern America, South America, like, that's, that's yeah, man, that's, that's, 
that's the time frame you know what i mean 700 years of that is the time frame of like that is when i i assume i'm gonna go on record and say my opinion i thought that that's when that would be when they built the pyramids and when there was 23 to like 30 or so 32 or so tribes and like mostly like inca maya and, and aztec were like the main ones and like all the rest of them were like tribes of this whole empire of western indigenous people so anyway that that's that's like the, 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 that that's the world that this kind of time frame um is lived in whatever the hell that is you know what i mean that's a shriveled up human i fucking guess i don't know what the hell to yeah, I could have just been a fucking malnourished child, but let me say this before I forget. I got to let the podcast know. I already let you know, but uh, I listened back to episode one of Peter's Perspective and just on record got to say, you know, what you just said about 700 years ago and all the fucking all that shit, aliens and stuff. I feel like three, two years ago, the old me would have been like, oh, Peter, you're not on your meds again, huh? But I have learned through trial and many errors that I need to pay more attention to what you have to say, dude, because you are far ahead of your time. Uh, You know what it all started? It started six years ago when you came up with clout season. And I fucking hated the word clout. And it, it took over. And I feel like. I sometimes feel like I'm at fault. Sometimes I feel like, man, if I was just a supportive friend and didn't like, I was just being honest. though. I truly did think it was stupid. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to just like force myself to like something I didn't believe in, but I, I'm man enough to admit I was wrong. And, uh, I think if I helped, maybe it could have been something not saying that it's not anything, but I feel like it still, we probably would have been more serious about it. Just like yeah. how you support me with ANCC or whatever the fuck I do, Suicide Logs, and uh, the, yeah, the first episode of fucking... Yeah, not uh, being a Jew. Yeah, 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 I try and yeah. do that sometimes for my friends. Yeah, yeah. I try not to be a Jew. Yeah, speaking <laughs> of the Jews, first episode of Peter's Perspective, you're talking about like, man, there's this whole culture of rocks, dude. People really fucking like rocks. What kind of shit is this? Like, what world do we live in? And rocks that are like people's favorite thing and hobby. And here we are. Mr. Cam Patterson has taken over the Austin, Texas comedy scene. He's the oh, token. That's right. He's, you did say that. he's yeah. a token black guy of that whole area. And his thing is, I ain't retarded, but I like rocks. And that and I'm just thinking about wow, the the, the lining was right there. Peter called it. it. he may have not really like called the future. Was I but making rock jokes though? Like was I <laughs> There's something there, dude. There's something there. Uh what else did you <laughs> What else I was did you call? My cam even back then. <laughs> yeah, there, and there was something else that you brought up. Oh, you brought you kind of predicted the Ukraine and Russian situation before it even really happened. Yep. Really? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> you kind of did. I remember like you had mentioned and I and I actually remember the conversation like being here and just being like zooted out of my mind and like hard to even like <laughs> hard to like even keep up with what you were saying but you were all like frantic about what are you going to do when the russians and chinese and ukrainians fucking start parachuting into your house what are you gonna do and i was all like you don't think there's gonna be like an amber alert letting us know that you know a child goes missing the whole fucking country county knows i think we know about some fucking russians parachuting in but you know there's emps and shit like that so you kind of called it. I mean, kinda. You 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 mentioned Ukraine before even Ukraine was mainstream news, you know. So, just gotta give you your flowers there on that one. Really? I guess so. You yeah. gotta go back and listen to the first episode, dude. There's a lot but, of like you're basing this off of like the date when it came out, and then like looking up other times of like. <laughs> yeah, this the first Peter's perspective was what. 2022 January, I believe, and I don't think that Ukrainian shit didn't start taking off to like a month or two later. Oh, I get so uh, yeah. Yeah. See, even you're kind of amazed what? by your own bullshit. You're like, oh, I, I did call that, huh? I did. I thought you would be like, see, that's your opportunity for you to be like, I fucking told you, bro. I fucking told you, you should have listened to me. 
I guess so. Wow. No, yeah, I'm impressed by myself, I guess, so, because that's a good, like, three months. I thought from when they or at least one month from when I thought they first started. I thought it started, like, late. Oh, my yeah. God. You know what fucking pissed me off um, the other day? Um, I'm watching Kill Tony, and somebody said, like, somebody came up with the name Alex Jones, and that's, like, their real name, and everybody was, like, you know, making a big deal about, like, does anyone ever, like, you make reservations at restaurants with that name? And just, like, making a big deal that he's got the same name as Alex Jones. And my fucking girl is just like, who is Alex Jones? Who is Alex Jones? And I, and I didn't know how to explain it to her, you know? I was like, I was just like, just watch. He's just a guy. He's just a popular guy, and, and she wouldn't let it go. She was just like... Is, is he a comedian? I'm like, kind of. Like, uh, just, <laughs> you know? And, and all I could say was like, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of retarded. And if she couldn't get that, then I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, just Google it. And she like Googled it, showed me the picture. I'm like, yes, that's him. And she's just like freaking out. Like, who is it? I'm like, I yes. don't know. <laughs> a patriot. He's the most banned. Uh, I don't know. That the answer most- wouldn't cut it for her. You know what I mean? And He's then, most banned. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. <laughs> here's here's kind of like the thing, right? Is like it's a lot of people, a handful of people. I don't know how many people. They try not to say how many people, but it's like three shows, three dudes at the top of the day. They have about three hours each. And it's like a morning show, an afternoon show, and then Alex. <laughs> the dude who does the afternoon show, his name's Owen Schroyer. He's getting charged for January 6th. He just got charged with going to jail for like two months. That happened like this week. So I don't know what the fuck's gonna go on with that them. I don't know how it's gonna play out. Like, wow. I don't know. I'm biting my fingers about it because it's like, damn, that's I don't know. Like he's being charged with just being there. Like that's really. I don't think he ever went inside. Oh yeah, because Alex Jones was there January six. Somebody yeah. like pulled up a Dude picture. Right next to him is getting charged with the same shit. But the way I see it is like, it's all chess. It's all lawsuit chess. It's lawfare instead of warfare. It's crazy. God. <laughs> like they're trying to get the guy next to Alex Jones. Like they could have chosen anybody else that was there. You know what I mean? It's just like I don't know. It's seeing seen it happen we're seeing it unfold it's crazy you're starting to see the first people come out come the first cases kind of come come out you know they come out that are from that time frame it's starting to turn into like you know what i mean cruel and unusual you're just holding people you're just fucking holding yeah. them on terrorist charges and shit yeah, like, like, how long ago fuck charges. Was shit? like two years you know, ago just conspiracy, conspiracy charges some shit like that that's like pretty much what they're starting to roll out with like a handful of different people it's crazy wow that was a long ass time ago, man. Two years ago. Two years ago, right? <laughs> January 6th, yeah. Uh, 21. I'm beginning of 21. Yeah. I don't know. Who's going to be the president next year? Do you know that? I don't know, man. Probably Trump. Do you think he can run even though he got his mug shot taken? I think all of that's going to take place afterwards. It's all, like I said, it's all big ass game of chess. <laughs> it's, it's lawfare. Lawfare. <laughs> it's law. <laughs> it's the word warfare mixed with law. Like, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, what are you going to do? <clears throat> yeah. Hey, Benny. Yeah, and we're all seeing, like, dates come out with some of the, with these four different indictments. And, um,. It's like the day before Super Tuesday, which is like when, you know, things get decided about primaries and like it gets closer and closer to the election. And like apparently the strategy, they already went on record with Trump's new lawyers and shit. They're all saying like the strategy pretty much is pushing everything after the election. (laughs) Because they expect to be president. Jeez. Talk about if favoritism. Whoever the hell is representing him in those four different places, uh, four different states or whatever, uh, 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 indictments, whoever his lawyers are, if they're not all the same person, I don't know who those be. I don't fucking give that much of a fuck to know about all that. Um, that person, like, that person's going to be in the cabinet, like, in this next term, if it ends up happening. Because it's like, that's that that's where it's at, you know what I mean? Like, those these people aren't Giuliani anymore, you know what I mean? Because he's a part of it. Like, he's being defended. 
So it all has to stem from like at least the Georgia one is the most fucking phony of all of them, I guess, because it has to do with like a whole Rico statue. But it's like a newer Rico that the state of Georgia came up with, which is not the same thing as like what Giuliani did of the Rico statue to take out like mobsters in like the 70s and 80s in New York City. Dude, there's so much going on. It's hard to keep up today. I they're fucking trying to label. They're trying to label the same exact fucking person that's prosecuting. Uh, 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 young thug <laughs> for the yeah. same shit. For I can't Donald keep Trump up, as bro. Like a pyramid scheme of something that went wrong, but it's like there's dead bodies in one, and then there's like, <laughs> and then the stolen election in the other, and it's like you can't just reco everybody in the fucking state of Georgia. <laughs> it just sounds like you're you're. It just sounds like that. That's how they need to look that shit over because it's like it's it's not like they're just making it a casual to just weaponize a state's. Department of Justice, you know what I mean? A state's attorney general and shit like that. <laughs> to go after whoever, no matter what state, crossing state state lines, you know? Did 6 9 get arrested again? Is that a reason? No. I seen a reel or a clip on YouTube, like a short of him getting arrested, but I don't know if that was, like, old or he got arrested again. You know again. what I mean? Oh, I can't even talk to you about it. God damn it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Because it has to do with Marvel. Oh. Um, never oh. mind. I don't, uh, anyways. I so, with you, man, I don't really follow that guy that much. There's, mean, yeah, there's so much going on. I can't keep up. Today, I just had to remind myself, oh, yeah, the singer of Smash Mouth died. Yeah, that just happened. Yeah. Yeah, today I was thinking of it, and I was like, the, the first thing that came to my mind when I remembered he was dead, I was like, oh, what if he went to hell? And then all I could think is, my world's on fire. How about yours? And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I like it. So I never get or some shit. All I could think is like, yeah, the my dumbass fucking simpleton brain was like, oh, that would make a funny like meme if I just like posted a picture of him with like fire around him and made the audio and it's like a one second video of my world's on fire and it's just repeating my world's on fire my world's on fire <laughs> and whoever gets it fucking gets it man you're tripping i am tripping hey uh i was asking the podcast this but i let's ask an actual person what do you think of this i uh i wrote I, I sent you a voice message. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, I did. What'd you think? Good. I, I liked all of it. You, li you liked it, all of it? Was it all of it? All I eight know. Seconds. All eight seconds of it. Yeah. Uh, lately, <laughs> lately, a lot of people have been calling me gay. And not, and not gay as in homosexual. Gay, gay as in annoying. And um, this one I wrote on 9-11. What do you think of this? And I, I made it during this episode of the podcast. I like re- listen to the first bit and i was like that could be funny and i was like uh, he goes like this why put chicken on pizza you know like at that point just eat a fucking sandwich and yeah that's it i just feel like with pizza it's just you get these big ass chunks of fucking chicken it's just too much i don't know that's just me but you might have a fucking fat ass fucking crowd of people who don't understand what i'm talking about because they just fucking inhale everything so and I got, I got to thinking today, like, I need to stop trying to, like, come up with jokes to pander, or please, whoever. I'm just going to – whatever I think is fucking funny. And these two jokes I think are fucking funny. So I put them all down here in the handy-dandy notebook. Man, that's what's up. I'm glad you're trying. I'm glad you're uh, attempting to do something about it. I like that. Uh, you mind if I tell you about this? Uh, I, I'm surprised I haven't even told you about this. I'm just like flipping through my book. And I wanted to tell you about like something I wrote about a skit. I pretty much wrote a skit, right? And it's this idea to where it's like a budget close to like what Chappelle's show pretty much was, is. So like imagine that kind of level of like sketch comedy. And I wanted it to be like pretty much, um, I don't know if I told you this. Uh, it's like a, like a, like a Mexican Elon Musk type of entrepreneur dude who's like a um a person who goes out of his way to like 
find a people in like Indonesia, let's say, and like Eastern indigenous people or some shit like that and find like some tribe of people, right? And it's like he, they do his dirty work and like he wants to bring them to Israel and shit like that. And he wants to like find these people and mainly like focus on the intersex and like trans people because they're called trans Zionists is what he's looking for. He wants to like make this new version of what a Zionist is. And it's like a trans demographic of people, intersex demographic of people. And it's like, they have, they are, they, they're, they're his own personal like henchmen or whatever, right? That he treats them as. And he says, you have to follow my ideology of what Jewish Zionism is, which is Zionists who just are against Jewish Zionists. So like, you know what I mean? Taking other people's house, someone else's house is taking over someone else's um, whole territory or whatever the fuck and he's just again these people that are against that even though they're using the funds like that and he's trying to tell them like that he's like you got to come use all of our technology i'm telling you man we have godlike technology it's fucking incredible and eventually he gets to a point where he tells them and if you don't listen to me you don't take me up on this offer and utilize the israel's fucking funds to fly your ass over there and become a jewish person you don't take me up on this offer i'm going to kill all of you guys out here i'm going to take all your fucking you know there's going to be a tsunami that comes to your wife's here you guys all out and and and, and the, the the way that i'm going to prove to you that i have no this talk technology and he explains to them like a blue moon pretty much which means you know what i mean two two full moons in one month you know what i'm saying so he like predicts that it's gonna happen like let's say six years in the future or something like that and then it ends up happening but it, it, it happens like let's say like like one time and then like two years after that there's another one but that's just like how astronomy is gonna work you know what i mean we already have that technology you can look it up on google right now when's the next blue moon or whatever the fuck and you know what i mean but like columbus actually did this in history though this is what this is inspired by right and then like he put the name of the people will be called the tenochtitlan people which is like actually like mexican people like people in the middle of you know that area but like nobody will know that they'll just that that'll be the name that i use but anyway so then like it becomes and then at the end of it you come and find out that like this guy's not even a millionaire or a billionaire like that he's just like knows how to travel he's just like makes ten thousand dollars a month selling a patented rv awning accessory and like this guy <laughs> like, just sold these people alive they're all just like you know what i mean like they have like new names and whatever their last name is x and they all like they're like new age like black hebrew israelites like you know what i mean like like fucking al shabazz like is their new name like created like i don't know oh yeah nothing more intimidating than a black jew it's... that's what i'm saying yeah so it would be like <laughs> like Indian what you say <laughs> like about what you know <laughs> yeah Yeah, 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 a black Jewish person. That that person can get away with saying anything, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's a black Jewish person? Tiffany Haddish? Nipsey Hussle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He that looks... was something I brought up to, like, other writer friends of mine, like, my closest, most respected kind of, like, writer friends I've met since moving to Austin, and they all liked it. They are like, yeah, I fucking, however you want, help. Yeah, they got with... bricked up. And I'm yeah, pretty much, yeah, and... They're like, no, it's funny. I, I like it. And I'm like, all right, let me keep this then. So what do you what do you think? <laughs> That's, that is like my Mona Lisa. Like something I want to work on hella hard and have on YouTube. That's like 20, 30 minutes, something like that. 15, 30 minutes. Mm. Kind of I support know. it. I support it. Have like have like a beginning, middle, and end and scripts and people with bones in their fucking noses and shit like that a green screen and shit like that you know <laughs> you know what's a person i'm gonna divert a little but it, it just you know what is a personal mona lisa of mine that like it's it's like a side quest but i i, I seldomly think about this of what i want i want to make a horror movie or maybe like a horror like how often do you go on YouTube and you see, like, a short film, like, a horror short film, and it's like, oh, fuck, I got to show that this is, like, you know? Like, I don't want to make no fucking rinky-dinky-ass, like, sad music with me fucking digging a hole in the rain. Like, no, I want something that will make people really be like, what the fuck? You know, like the, like the most scariest 
spookiest shit that anybody can fucking think of or like just game changing horror shit because i feel like horror is kind of like very yeah. predictable and then like and then when Wait, they fuck what where'd you lose what'd me you where'd you horror lose is horror is very like i think predictable i think it's like the easiest genre of movie to make which is what i learned in like my acting class but it's also like it's hard to execute a a something that people like and i have some like horror movie fan friends and stuff like that so anyways i i i would love to be somebody responsible for some some get out jordan peele shit you know what i mean and then when they look into yeah and then when they look into like who's the creator of it they'll like click on the profile and be like oh marconi puma and then they're like let's see what else fucked up shit he's made and they like scroll down and all they see is yabba dabba do the cow goes you know (laughs) (laughs) they see fucking asian base god and then you know like sometimes i just yeah yeah, and then i just I don't know. I want to get people to think. I want people to be like, man, so, like, at what point did this fucking guy, like, lose his screws, you know? Like, oh, this is what it's like when someone's friends don't tell him them, him to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh... Um... Hold on, I gotta find a charger yeah, my phone's on like 30 or 20%, but yeah, I only got a little bit of time here. Oh, we did about, I've done about 36 minutes here. Um, yeah, I think I'm, 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 I'm going to have to cut, man. I think I'm going to have to talk to you later, man. It was good talking to you, man. I'm glad to. Yeah, I'm going to have you on for a full ass episode one of these days, so we got to do yeah, it. Yeah, for sure, man. No, that's cool. I might. I mean, cool. if you get a charger when I end this, I could call you back or something. Probably. I don't know. I might have some shit to do. I gotta fucking do some dishes. You know, got to stop my mom from bitching. Yeah, so. for sure, man. <laughs> Let me know. All right, then, Peter. Good uh, hearing from you. I'm sure the podcast is very excited that you made an appearance, bro. This is like this is like when The Rock shows up for like WrestleMania for a feature. And he's been <laughs> gone for a long time, you know. Yeah, man. Hit me up. And I'm fucking John <laughs> Cena running every episode. <laughs> but alright then stay up I'll see you later yeah for sure man alright bro later it was good talking to you bro yes sir <laughs> see you later alright we did it I think we're almost at an hour of fucking content here right uh uh Oh, wow, I got a call here. We're not going to answer that shit. Oh, look, somebody's pissed off about the Raiders. Let's see. I know you think you're funny, but you, my boy, are really dumb. Wow, that's what somebody fucking said on my Instagram about that. This is what I posted. I'll, I'll, I'll share the audio. Here it is. Yo, what up, man? It's been a couple of days, but I've been out fucking partying because them Raiders fucking dunked on them bitch-ass Broncos, you feel me? And you already know I'm about to celebrate even harder because up next is the fucking Bills. Who the hell are they, dude? That's like fucking, if this was WWE, the Bills are like fucking the Hurricane. They're like fucking Scotty Too Hotty. It's nothing. It's easy work, man. We on our way to the top. The fucking Ravens better watch out. I don't give a fuck about nothing, man. We plowing through these I'm going to say, not going to be a joke when we fucking dunk on y'all in the Super Bowl. When we dunk our way to the Super Bowl. All right. How can you see into my eyes like open doors? Um, yeah, I guess I will get out of here or something, you know? What did we learn today? We learned that there's a lot going on with the Jews. We learned that there's aliens in Peru. We learned, let me put this fucking mic up here. All right, testing one, two, three, suck my dick. Um, what else did we learn, ladies and gentlemen? 
ladies and gentlemen, I said that word, ladies and gentlemen, I was like, ladies and gentlemen, mon, I replaced the E with a, with a U, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with this, I'm going to leave you with this, stop overthinking, you're probably overthinking because you're bored. I always say busy is better than bored. Keep it healthy. You know, it's all right. It's all right to have fun. I don't know if you hear that, but that's my cat. It's all right to have fun. But it's Come here. Come here, Benny. I've been yell I always yell at you when you get on the podcast, but then you just come in here. What? You got something to say? Now you won't look at me. You're all fucking... I'm trying to send a positive message to the world. And you're over here. I need attention. You have toys all over this fucking house. You have food. Come on. Come here. And you won't come here. Come on, buddy. Benny. Anyways. Um... Busy is better than bored. Benny, I'm trying to tell you, tell a fucking lecture, man. And you're out here fucking. I told you to come here and you fucking get out of here. Trying to tell these people, leave off on a positive note. God. My cat's being such a fucking homo, dude. (sighs) Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Keep it drama free. Don't don't let don't let dumbass football fans bring you down. You know, because it's all gonna be when the Raiders fucking win the Super Bowl, man. Who's gonna be laughing now? Me. I'm gonna be crying, crying of laughter. My nose is getting plugged. No big deal. Do Jewish people get allergies? <sighs> They killed they killed my boy, man. They killed my boy Jesus. What's up with that, man? Anyway, so uh Yeah. That's it, really. I don't know. You got a fucking question, comment, or concern, suicide logs at gmail dot com. Uh I got a linktree dot com slash Marconi Puma. Subscribe to my YouTube. We're gonna start rolling in more and more clips on the YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube. Uh YouTube.com slash Marconi Puma. We're at like 342 subscribers. Trying to, once I get to a thousand, we're going to do something wild. We're going to do something wild, guys. So, yeah. Catch y'all later. That's it.
Yeah!